What is going on guys welcome back and today's video we're going to learn how to easily create split screen videos using MoviePie in Python. So let us get right into it. Alright now as I already mentioned in the introduction we're going to use MoviePie in today's video and MoviePie is an external Python library which means it's not part of the core Python stack so we need to install it for example via pip and for this we're going to open up a command line and we're going to type pip install MoviePie like this and now we have it and we can import it in our script. So the goal is, as we already said, to create split screen videos in Python using MoviePie and split screen videos basically means multiple videos at the same time in a structured way. So for example, one on the left, one on the right, or one at the top, one at the bottom, or maybe you want to have five in a row or three in a row, or maybe you want to have a grid like structure where you have four by four, four by five, something like that. Just multiple videos visible at the same time in a more or less structured way. So for this, I have downloaded four videos here and we can look at them by opening them up in the Explorer. You can see we have some nature videos here, uh, just some copyright free videos that I downloaded from Pixabay. Um, yeah, those are the videos that I'm going to use. You can use whatever you want. Uh, this can be useful for, I don't know what you want to do. Maybe you want to do some gaming compilation for your gaming channel or you want to just... Um, I don't know, summarize your va vacations, whatever you want to do with that, you can create split screen videos in Python using MoviePie in a very, very simple way. And what you do first is you say from moviepie.editor, you want to import the video file clip and the clips array. And now all we need to do is we need to say that we want to have a clip, we want to have clip one, for example, and this is going to be a video file clip from a certain file. And the file is going to be in this case, vid1.mp4. This is going to be the first one. And um, you can now take the full clip or you can take a sub clip. I'm going to take a sub clip so that we don't have uh, too much of a waiting time here. So we're going to say sub clip uh, from the first second. So from moment zero to zero plus, And then you can say length here uh, if you want to do it like that. And then you can say length equals and we're going to say now two seconds so that it renders fast. Um, and now we can copy this line and do the same thing for clip two, clip three and clip four. We're going to take a clip out of each video here. Of course, you can also recycle the video. You can also say here clip four is not video four, but video one, but a different time uh, stamp. So starting at five, going to seven, for example, uh, this would also be a possibility. And now what we do with those clips is we create a, a clip array. So we say combined, for example, equals clip array, uh, clips array, sorry. And here we pass now a multidimensional list. And this list is the structure of the video. So if we have, for example, just clip one, clip two, this will give us the both uh, the, the two videos side by side. So if I run this now, uh, first of all, I need to say combined dot write video file, and I'm going to write this into test dot MP4. If I run this code now, you're going to see that it starts the rendering process here in a second. Um, object is not iterable. What did I do wrong here? Uh, video file clip. Oh, I think we need to have a list of lists here. That should work. There you go. Now it does that. And if I now right click on this and say open an Explorer, and then I show it, you can see it has the two videos side by side. And the cool thing is that in order to create a grid like structure, all I need to do is I need to provide the respective multi-dimensional list structure here. So I can say, for example, clip three and clip four. And then I can run this again. This will take a little bit more time because now we have four clips being combined. Um, but since it's two seconds, it's still quite fast. So I can then right click again, open in Explorer. And now I have four videos at the same time. So that's basically how you do that in Python. It's actually quite simple. Now I have another tutorial on MoviePie where I show you how to do transitions and effects and uh, how you can apply filters and all of that. Um, so you can watch that if you want to, you can combine those things here. But this structure allows for a lot of interesting stuff. So I can also just to show you that this works, I can also say here again, clip two, clip three, maybe. So I can repeat the clips. And then uh, this will take even longer because we now have six clips. So the more clips you have and the more clips you combine, the more uh, time it's gonna, uh, the more time you will need to render the whole thing. But 
then you get again let me show you that six videos here together so you can play around with that one thing that can be interesting here and can be useful is to add a margin so maybe you don't want to have the videos side by side uh, maybe you don't want to have them i mean you want to have them side by side but maybe you want to have a little bit of a of a margin there you want to have a little bit of a space in between the clips so what you can do here is you can say dot margin two for example if you want to have a very small margin um you can do it like this and maybe let's not go with six clips but let's just go with the four clips here there you go let's run this again and now we add this little margin here so that we have a little bit of space in between the four videos, in between the four clips. And of course, once you have such a combined um, clip here, you can also combine it with other combined clips. So you can, if you have, for example, your gaming compilation where you have all your kill streaks in a video game, you can have um, one split screen following another sc uh, split screen and so on, so that you have a full video, a full montage, so, uh, so to say, uh, where you have the individual clips together. And if we open this now, you can see that we have some space here, some some little space here. Of course, we can also increase this. This is the last thing that I'm going to show you here. So if we change that here to eight, for example, you're going to see that this becomes more space. Um, and yeah, this is something that can be quite useful because maybe you want to have more separation there. But yeah, this is basically how you do that in Python. We're going to look at the result here and then that's essentially it. So opening the Explorer again, test MP4. Okay, for some reason, there you go. Now we have more space, so you can see that we have some thick lines there. But this is how you create simple split screen videos using MoviePie in Python. So that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it and hope you learned something. If so, let me know by hitting a like button and leaving a comment in the comment section down below. And of course, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell to not miss a single future video for free. Other than that, thank you much for watching. See you in the next video and bye.